Welcome to the first video in this class. In this video, I will explain to you how the cloth physics works and I will also visually showcase the differences in the cloth physics settings. As you can see, changing a few settings in the cloth physics panel can create vastly different results. But how does Blender calculate the cloth physics? And why do we even need to know this? Well, let's take a quick look at this image. Internally, cloth physics is simulated with virtual springs that connect the vertices of a mesh. There are four types of springs that control how the cloth bends. We need to know this because we can modify these springs while changing the properties of the physics tab. Here you can see that tension, compression, shear and bending are settings that regularly reoccur. These are the four springs showcased in this image. Dark blue are tension springs. These control the stiffness of the cloth. Red are the compression springs. They control the amount of force required to collapse or compress the cloth. Light blue or cyan are the springs that also control the amount of force to collapse or compress the cloth, but does this in an angular deformation. And as last we have green the angular bending springs. They control how resilient the cloth is to folding or crumpling. So now that you know how the cloth physics works internally, we can take a deeper look into the cloth physics modifier.